Oh, here I am inside of the WordPress dashboard. And by default, inside of upsell settings, if you click on the general tab, you'll be able to set a global default currency. So right now I have this set to US dollars. If you go inside of your products of the upsell plugin, so we're gonna use this one for example, course how to make more sales. So as you can see, it's set to $99 for this product. If we duplicate this product, so here's our duplicated product, 1555. Let's go ahead and edit this. I'm just gonna give it a dash two so we can easily identify that it was the duplicate. And as you can see here, there is a new field that says currency. By default, it's gonna be set at default, so it uses whatever you have inside of your upsell plugin settings. But now you have the ability to assign a different currency to this product. So let's say we have a lot of visitors from Europe coming to our website and we wanna show their native currency, which would be the Euro. We can go ahead and select Euro for this product. So now it would be 99 Euros for this product. Let's go ahead and click update. So real quick, let's go back to our product. So our original one, which was $99 US dollars. Let's go ahead and capture that purchase URL. We're gonna open up a private tab. Let's paste it. And we'll see that if we come down to the order summary table, as you can see, it's $99. But if we go back to the new duplicate product that we created for euros, let's go ahead and go inside this product, go to the URL options, per copy the purchase URL for this product, paste into a private tab. If we scroll down, we'll see it's now 99 euros. Let's go ahead and proceed with checking out here. I'm gonna put in the test stripe card. I agree to the terms of service, it's gonna submit payment. Payment was successful. You see here that inside the order summary table, it's still showing euros because we because we checked out using euro for this product. And if I bring over my test environment for Stripe and I refresh this, you'll see that the product was purchased. And as you can see, it was captured in euros inside of your Stripe account. It also works for PayPal. So let me just show you real quick. If I open up the same window in PayPal, So this time, instead of choosing pay with credit card, we're going to choose PayPal, continue to PayPal. And now if I choose card or debit card, continue to payment, and you can actually confirm up here. So as you see that we are checking out, we're purchasing the product for 99 euros. So again, real simple, you can choose the currency for a product by coming into the product itself, the general tab, and then you select whatever currency you'd like to be applied to that product. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out, thanks.